prisoners awaiting trial voted early, 28 casting their ballots at this jail in Quito, hundreds more across Ecuador. Voting elsewhere is obligatory for adults under 65. Pensioners can choose. 86-year-old Doña Susana needed little prompting. I'm very happy to again be helping my country. I always put myself in the line to vote because it's important as Ecuadorians. Ahead in the polls is the paraplegic former vice president, Lenin Moreno, a government supporter and tireless campaigner for the rights of those with disabilities. His supporters convinced he'll clinch a first round victory. If not, he'll contest a second round in April with either business friendly banker Guillermo Lasso or the only female contender, Cynthia Viteri. Five other candidates are thought to have little chance of progressing. After 10 years with Rafael Correa as president, Ecuadorans are being asked whether they want more of the same, with some modifications, or to take a completely different path. But both Ecuador and the rest of the world in those 10 years have changed, and choosing which path to take is not an easy one. Polls suggest up to 40% of voters are undecided while others are certain they don't like any of the candidates on offer. The elections are just a peaceful discussion between economic elites to decide who will govern for the next four years. Ordinary people have nothing to do with this electoral process. Whoever wins, the people lose. While Rafael Correa reduced poverty and established political stability after seven presidents in a decade, he alienated many with campaigns against the media and judiciary. I believe this voter indecision is because many are finding it difficult to insert themselves in Ecuador's political process. That's because of the weak leadership being offered by the presidential candidates, none of whom compare with Korea. Cotopaxi, 60 kilometers south of Quito, is one of the world's most active volcanoes and often rumbles to coincide with political upheaval in Ecuador. Cautiously dormant for now, while a difficult political transition takes place in its shadow. Daniel Schwander, Al Jazeera, Quito.